The year 2020 will certainly remain in the annals of Nigeria's history, especially with the mass protest against police brutality, the NSAS, as mentioned in any discussion. Many Nigerians believe that the NSAS movement was a juggernaut that tore through the political space, shook the seat of power, and almost brought the economy to a standstill. Victor Mbadike tells us more. <laughs> And just like the lion roar and the jungle trembles, so did NSAS protesters in their thousands with powerful vibrations within Nigeria and from across the world called for an end to police brutality. As a people with one song, with one voice. The nationwide protest which began on October 8, 2020 was a painstaking call on the authorities to abolish an abusive police unit called the Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SARS. We do not want SARS anymore. We're not asking for a reform. We're not asking you to come and do a press conference and tell us, oh, they are not allowed to do this, they are allowed to do this. This has happened multiple times. We need SARS completely abolished. <laughs> Protesters at the Lekki Tollgate, Lagos, were considered the most organized protesters and the epicenter of the global unrest. You can imagine having parking lots, having food, having emergency, medical emergencies and all that for a lot of people. Last night, tents were made available for people to, to camp here and have a vigil here. We have voluntarily got money together by ourselves. Falling this thing by ourselves. We can see this morning, I came in this morning over here and we started cleaning. Then we set up the stage and we started. There were five demands requested by the NSAS agitators. Failure to heed will mean no end in sight to nationwide protest. For me to be the top artist here and not do anything is impossible. Despite putting an end to the police unit size and creating a new frontier in its place called Special Weapon and Tactical Team SWAT, the protesters had other ideas. There is no better time to end all perceived bad governance once and for all. We now have a new hashtag. It's what they call hashtag service, okay? And which means that speak up as the government listens. It is not just about police outside, it's about everything in Nigeria. The corruption is here. Okay, see now, now in Nigeria, I know you know if you do, I know if you do. Can you imagine? Answers! As you can see, I'm a youth copper. What lies ahead after serving my, my father's land? We are tired of knowing CEOs. We are tired of knowing owners of companies before we get our desired jobs. This cross, he does them houses. We know he's not doing anything. I beg. If not, we can fight this time. Moku conquer. Look at yeah, my generation said, "Look at the, the mic." But my generation is saying, "Soros, okay, for a better Nigeria, we are here. Enough, enough is enough." <laughs> Undaunted by several calls and pleas from different quarters to suspend the protests, the many interventions fell on deaf ears. We are not going to leave this place until they meet up to our demand. Even a curfew announced by the Lagos State Government made no difference. <laughs> and the consequence was an invasion by security agents and the Lekki target to disperse the protesters. Which will go on to be the most controversial highlight of the NSAS movement. I go go back there, no worry. For those of you saying that, don't go there, be safe. Yeah, you too, be safe. But this country has to be fixed. Thereafter, violent protesters activated the monsters in them. I don't know what's happening right now, but it's dangerous. I don't, I don't know how to go back home. Police stations and posts were burned and vandalized. After the station was being burned, two days interval before we went there. We are just snapping. And some of these police officers paid the supreme prize. Prisoners freed in correctional facilities across the country. Oh, 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 o
is that so? Politics looted in warehouses. Private and public property were also not spared, creating room for criminals to operate freely for weeks as security operatives went on holiday. Before now, at every junction you see police control traffic and also check some criminal elements in the society. But as I speak to you today, they are nowhere to be found. Nigerians began to live in fear as they constantly appealed for a return of the police to the streets. Those hoodlums, those thieves, those rogues, they are happy that policemen are not on the road. So we, citizens, we are afraid. It's like if you go out 8 o'clock in the night, you will think there's a coffee. Security expert Tony Ofoyeto fears that government may still have taken the legendary protest lightly. The government has learned nothing. Rather, the government has laid a foundation for a worst case scenario. Now, but for government to come out and uh, begin to talk about um, confiscating some accounts, um, prosecuting some of the, arresting some of the promoters of NSAS and the like, it has laid a future bad seed that in future, it's growing now. But in future, when it grows to become a full-blown tree, I don't know if the government will be able to curtail it. Mr. Foyton believes that until government begins to speak truth to power, there might be a second wave of the NSAS movement. Be true to your word. If you say we will do this thing, do it. If there is a policy, let the policy be devoid of any undertone. Hopefully, a respite to the victims of the now defunct SARS. Victor, by the king. Silver with News 24.